Hi everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shukra. So this video is all about Laurel Piano. Laurel Piano is one of the most prominent, I would say, quite luxury brands that have been around for over a hundred years now. And the thing about Laurel Piano is the fact that nobody really discusses them too much. And that is actually a part of their brand. That is a part of their culture to not really discuss them too much. So Laurel Piano was founded by Pietro Laurel Piana in 1924. So Laurel Piano is known widely for their cashmere. They source the very finest, rarest raw materials in the world in order to create their cashmere pieces. So for their cashmere and fibers, Laura Piana gets it from the Andean Vicanas. So these are wild, once endangered animals that can be herded and sheared only once every two years. So this makes it the most expensive wool on the planet. So this goes along with the if you know, you know kind of culture that comes along with Laura Piana. And it allows this to be a status symbol in a way for the brand. The color palette for this brand has usually been more beiges, neutrals, muted colors, and having really great tailored pieces with wonderful cuts, soft silhouettes as well. Recently, Laura Piana has been acquired by LVMH, I believe in 2013. And also, as we all know from HBO, their very successful show, called Secession actually helped push Laura Piano into the forefront as well for the world when it comes to luxury fashion. And for this, we can actually kind of blame <laughs> Kendall Royal's baseball cap, which he wore constantly on the show and drew a lot of attention for. And this circulated on social media, especially on TikTok, which Gen Z was able to propel forward, which has captured and made this fashion brand a little bit more prominent, especially in the world of quiet luxury. Originally, Laura Piano's quality was always top tier. However, when it came to their designs and innovative styles, that was kind of, I would say, lagging behind a little bit. But as of recent years, about three to five years now, their designs have become a little bit more interesting and allowing the fits to fit you a whole lot better and make you look, you know, as attractive as possible. So of course, this started with the women's wear for the brand and this trickled and branched out to the men's wear. Now, along with the material, the colors, the layering are a whole lot more flattering and stylish. However, they are not, you know, straying from their original kind of self <laughs> luxury. Now they have incorporated beautiful and unusual pieces that kind of strive towards the row in a sense, but they have that Italian heritage as well to help define them as Laura Piana. One big factor with Laura Piana that has always made it more of a, you know, old money, quiet luxury brand is the price, along with the quality, of course. But the price is exactly what allowed this fashion house to be prominent on Secession, since the family is billionaires for the most part. I would have to say when it comes to the price for Laura Piana, there are a lot of factors coming to this along with the quality. Helping with the quality point I've said before, they have really expensive and hard to source materials that they use for all of their items. Along with their items being innovative in terms of manufacturing and textiles adds to the price point. And of course, prices have gone up for almost every single luxury house. So you can't really pinpoint that and say that's, you know, something to put against them. With the prominence of Laura Piana becoming a whole lot more trendy now, they have started having more on-site stores. So I understand recently there was a store open in Silicon Valley, which we all know is in California in a very prominent and wealthy area of that state. Laura Piana also opened a Dubai flagship store, which helped with blending the local culture with their brand's history. And also the fact that now Gen Z is really into Laura Piana. And for the most part, they kind of go more towards secondhand. And that also helps to bring forth more eyes onto the new designs that are coming out for the brand. Because it seems now everyone has grasped how important it is to have quality pieces in their closets quality pieces that you can wear year after year, generation after generation, which is something Laura Piana has been showing for the most part for everyone to see. 
And Laura Piana has one of the most iconic and historic products ever when it comes to their white sole shoes, the open walk and the summer walk. These shoes are very prominent in everyone's wardrobe when it comes to spring, summer, winter. So it's an all year fashion statement. And Laura Piano has been great when it comes to awarding excellence to promote sustainability, which is something that is very important to the brand given the textiles and the products they use when it comes to manufacturing. And of course, they protect the precious vicuna, which they use in order to get their wool. And they're very, very much on trend to keep on being the top, well, one of the top fashion houses when it comes to exclusive cashmere. Put all of this together along with them having a heritage of having a high quality craftsmanship and their price point steadily always increasing, Laura Piano will always continue to be trendy. And I think from the show Secession, this has allowed Laura Piana to be a staple in everyone's closet from all generations. So I think we're going to continue to not <laughs> speak about Laura Piana, but at the same time still be speaking about this brand and still be wearing a lot of their items. And recently a lot of their bags as well have become very, very on trend and very, very much sought after especially their pouches. These bags have been sought after by everyone. Everyone wants them. The material is great. The pouch bag from Laura Piano is a great bag that you can dress up and dress down. There's waiting lists almost everywhere to get these pouches. So if you are on the lookout <laughs> for these, keep your fingers crossed. Maybe one day you'll be able to get your hands on it. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If this is your first time watching, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and come back for more videos. Bye.